Hi, I'm Jennifer Love. I'm a passionate, authentic, intuitive who uses divine guidance to help people love themselves and live more fully in their bodies. This is your weekly love connection for the week of January 1st through the 7th, 2024. Happy New Year! I just wanted to say thank you. If you've been watching my videos for a while or if this is your first time, uh, thanks for watching this video. It really does help if you leave a like or a comment or follow me. Um, it really does help a small business like mine. So this week we are using the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed So you can choose a card from one to three or I've assigned a card for your unique situation. Card number one is for folks who are in crisis who need immediate answers and support. Card number two is if you're single. And card number three is for those in relationships who just want a little guidance. So let's get started. Card number one. This card is Follow the Leader, and it actually came out reversed. This is, you know, Colette Baron reed is like the only um, uh, author that I read the decks reversed because that's how she teaches them. Um, I don't read any other decks reversed. <laughs> I just don't do it. Um, but this card actually came out reversed. And in this, the meaning of that, um, it's actually number 40, if that means anything to you. Um, the meaning of this card is that you need to make your needs known and you need to take more initiative. So um, if you have been feeling like you um, are in a crisis in your relationship or your love life, you need to tell that other person how you feel. You need to make your intentions and desires and emotions known because they don't know. And you are feeling like you're not taking enough leadership in the relationship or you're not making your feelings known. And the guidance this week is to actually share how you feel. So that's uh, the guidance this week. So card number two, this card is number 51 and it is moonlight. So this is very similar to the moon card in the tarot. This card is guiding you to use your intuition this week. So if you are finding yourself currently single and you want to be in a romantic connection, you need to be using your intuition as to how, where, when, why you would be meeting your um, soulmate, significant other date. Um, if you've been feeling like intuitive hits like, oh gosh, I really need to be going to this place, go. If you've been feeling like, oh, I really want to try this new hobby, do it. If you've been feeling like reminding yourself, oh, I really need to get back on the dating apps, then you should. So your intuitive hits are guiding you in the right direction and you need to be listening. So the moon card and the moonlight card in this deck is saying that your intuition is on point. And so this week you need to be listening to those intuitive hints and guidance for um, signs, signals, messages, um, direction, and it will lead you the right way. Card number three is really interesting. This is number 50 and it is compass. And so it is saying that the guidance this week is to listen to your um, true north. And that for this deck, that means the, your higher power, whether that's God or source or the universe or whatever you want to call it, um, you need to be following that compass in terms of what are the next steps or if you feel lost in your life or lost in your relationship like I don't know what I'm supposed to do here I don't know which way to go um, your true north is your compass and that's the way you should go what what is the universe guiding you to do what is God you know what is the basis of your um, faith that you know guides you to do um 
the thing that I find interesting is that we just finished, you know, the holiday season and a lot of couples fight about money. (laughs) So don't rely on money, material things, um, budgets to kind of get you down. That is not the true north, right? That is not the meaning of the holiday season, right? Your budget. um, That's not the basis of your relationship either, finances, right? The basis of your relationship is love. And the true north is your higher power. And as long as you use that as a basis, you will never be lost. 